Brothers and sisters, if you have ever visited the Kaaba, the Haram, and the Masjid the Nabuvi, you can understand how beautiful and spiritual these places are. We feel emotional and connected and indifferent to worldly matters when we go there. Let's talk about the miracles that happened when these holy places were rebuilt and redesigned. The person who built the Masjid al-Haram and Masjid al-Nabuvi was called Muhammad Kamal Ismail. He was an Egyptian architect and engineer. Brothers and sisters, the person who gets to design and build the most blessed parts of the world, the Masjid al-Haram and Masjid al-Nabuvi, can he be an ordinary man? Allah had chosen and designed the whole process. This person was also no less than special. Dr. Kamal Ismail was the youngest one to graduate from high school in the Egypt. And then he became the youngest person ever to graduate from the Royal School of Engineering. He was then sent to Europe to receive multiple doctorates in Islamic architecture. He was the first person to take over the control of the whole design and rebuilding of the Haramain Sharifain. Despite his excellence and degrees and experience, he refused to take even a single penny for completing this lengthy, difficult task. Dr. Kamal Ismail said that why would he take worldly returns for designing the most sacred parts of the world? How would he answer back to his Allah? His whole life is an embodiment of Iman and faith. He had a small personal life and that is why he would spend most of his time in worship and ibadat. No doubt Allah had chosen this person. He was over the age of 80 when he signed the contract of designing and rebuilding the Haram and Masjid Nabuvi. And after that, he spent his years working for the sacred places without any media coverage or spotlight. Not just the architect, the design and build of the Haram and Masjid Nabuvi are miracles in their own nature. The building material used here is the rarest in the world. If you have been lucky enough to visit these blessed holy places, you will know that despite the scorching heat of Saudi Arabia, the floor of the Haraman Sharifain is cool to touch. This is because the white marble used there is a rare kind of snow white marble found in Lebanon. Dr. Kamal went to Greece and bought that rare mountain where this marble was found. It is known for its extraordinary shine and white color and thermal properties. It gets rid of the heat in the air and feels cool to touch on the surface. When the construction of the Masjid Nabuvi began, the king of Saudi Arabia asked Dr. Muhammad Kamal Ismail to use the same snow white marble. The marble he had bought for the Haram was 15 years ago. He wasn't sure if that company still had it. Anyways, he went to meet the executive and told him the story. As expected, the marble had been sold out completely. Dr. Kamal left the room, but just as a ray of hope, he asked the secretary to please find the person who bought that marble. She said, it is difficult, but you can drop your number and I will let you know if I receive any information. The next day he received a call from the secretary. She had found the company who bought the rest of the marble 15 years ago. When he looked at the details she sent, Dr. Kamal was astonished. The company was based in Saudi. He immediately took his flight, landed in Saudi Arabia and went to meet the owner of the company. He told the whole story. The owner of the company asked his staff to check where they used that marble. Surprisingly enough, the marble was still there in their storage. For 15 years, that marble was waiting for Dr. Kamal to come and use it for the building of Masjid Nabuvi. He broke into tears, gave the owner of the company a blank check and asked him to charge whatever he wants to. The executive of the company refused to take a penny. Brothers and sisters, we are talking about the Masjid Nabuvi, the mosque that Rasulullah Hazrat Muhammad wasallam built with his own hands. This was the place which his she camel chose and this is the masjid in which the Khalifa Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr and Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma put the bricks side by side, equal to the Prophet's brick. This was the holy place where Hazrat Aisha and Hazrat Sauda radiallahu ta'ala an had their homes. 
How lucky some chosen people have been to contribute to the reconstruction of this holy place where the hearts of the Muslims from all over the world come together, where thousands of Muslims come every year to rejuvenate their iman and faith and get rid of their sins and connect with Allah and His Prophet ﷺ. This makes us extremely nostalgic and emotional knowing that this man has spent his precious experience, time and years in building the Masjid and Abuvi with full heart and passion. He could have taken other projects and made billions and left a lot of money for his coming generations. But Allah had chosen a man of faith and iman for the construction of this holy place. May we all get to witness the glory and holiness of Masjid al-Haram and Masjid al-Nabawi one day.